the Stardew Valley 1.6 update introduced a bunch of new festivals. Here's all you need to know about the Desert Festival, including all the cool quests and prizes you can obtain. The festival takes place every year in the Calico Desert on Spring 15, 16, and 17 at 10 a.m. after the bus is repaired. There are a total of 12 attractions there, including some quests that let you earn Calico eggs, which you can use to buy various rare items. Before heading to the desert, be sure to bring along your mining tools, as well as a fishing rod to participate in all the fun quests. The first attraction I stop at is the chef, who will cook up dishes that give you special buffs for skills like mining, speed, etc. The chef will ask you to choose from combinations of ingredients that will give you two specific buffs that last for seven minutes. All dishes will restore you to maximum health and energy, and will stack with any other food or drink buffs you consume. My favorite combination is the rare fruit and uncomfortably hot sauce, which gives you plus 3 luck and plus 1 speed, perfect for going into the Skull Cavern. You can go back to the chef an unlimited number of times once the buffs run out after 7 minutes, and he will let you choose any ingredient each time. Other combinations I like for mining are the rare fruit and mushroom cream sauce, which gives plus 3 luck and plus 1 mining. Before fishing, I like to get the shrimp with any sauce combination, to get the plus 3 fishing buff. During all 3 days of the festival, Willy offers daily fishing related quests that will reward you with calico eggs on completion. Each day, there will be a different quest listed on the board beside the pond. Upon completion of the quest, be sure to go back to Willy to collect your calico eggs. Another quick and fun way to earn a lot of calico eggs is the Skull Cavern quests. Similar to the fishing quests, Marlin will offer daily Skull Cavern quests that will reward you with eggs on completion. During the festival, you will be able to access Skull Cavern even if you have not obtained the Skull Key. Besides the quests offered by Marlin, you will be awarded rewards based on your daily egg rating if you talk to Gil after leaving the cavern. Your egg rating is determined by how far you make it down the cavern. Every five floors down, you gain one egg rating. Calico statues will randomly appear on floors, activating them will also grant you one egg rating. Activating these statues can grant random buffs or debuffs, such as speed boosts, receiving eggs, encountering more monsters, or just have no effect. On leaving the Skull Cavern, be sure to talk to Gil to submit your egg rating. The highest number of calico eggs you can get is 500, if you have an egg rating of 55 and above. He will also award you with other prizes like triple shot espresso, or magic rock candy based on your rating. Apart from getting eggs from the daily quest and egg rating, you can also find eggs inside the skull cavern from mining calico nodes, or slaying monsters and breaking barrels. The chance of finding calico eggs increases as you go deeper into the cavern. Should you pass out in the Skull Cavern, you will awaken at Harvey's Station without losing any gold or items. However, you will lose 20% of the calico eggs in your inventory. Throughout the day, you can also place bets on races that take place on the hour. If your chosen contestant wins, you will receive 20 eggs. Each day, the first winning bet you make on Escargo, the slowest contestant, will instead earn you 100 eggs. You can also cheat by giving the suspicious guy next to the oasis one egg in exchange for one of the racers to lose. You may place your bets on the races up until 9.50 pm. When the race is in progress, you must remain in the main festival area to see the results. When the race has ended, be sure to return to collect your calico eggs. In the top right corner, the scholar will ask you a series of four questions. If you answer all of them correctly, you will get 50 calico eggs. You will have one chance per day to achieve this, and you can only obtain the reward once each year. Just to the left of that, be sure to dig in the trash can, which contains 5 to 8 calico eggs each day. You can spend your eggs at the calico egg merchant. 
Some items are sold every day, while others, like strawberry seeds or magic rock candy, are only sold on certain days. Items with limited stock are also replenished every day. Besides spending your eggs at the Calico Egg Merchant, you can also buy things from villager shops. Each day, two villagers are randomly chosen to host their own shops from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. You can get rare items like prismatic shard from Emily, or cool furniture like Sam's skateboard or guitar, so be sure to check out the shops. The traveling cart will also be open every day from 12 p.m., with randomized stock each day. Every day, Emily and Sandy will also offer you a random new outfit, and pick out clothing that embodies you. Your original outfit will be placed in your inventory. There are a total of 61 outfits you could get, so be sure to visit her once per day. Just below Emily's station, head to the Cactus Salesman to obtain a free cactus. You can get this once per year, and the cactus design is randomized every time. <coughs> Lastly, the shrouded figure up in the top right corner will teleport you straight home for 250G, just like in the night market during winter. So even if you lose track of time at the festival, make sure to utilize it to get home without passing out. So, that sums up all the cool things you can do at the Desert Festival in spring. This new addition is one of my favorites in the 1.6 update, so be sure to check it out and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. Happy exploring in the valley, until next time.